Hello, everyone. Welcome to the hood. Welcome to Monday. Welcome to Monday Suck. I am Jack Bigadoo. And with me is always the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend himself, my man, Timmy, a.k.a. Timmy, a.k.a. Timmy. <laughs> Can we unmute your mic? You always do this to me. You always come in with your mic muted. <laughs> Tim is always doing this to me. He'll only come in with his mic muted. He's screaming. We only see movement. And next thing we know is like, oh, we are on now. Welcome. I got it welcome. figured out. I got it figured welcome. out. <laughs> welcome, everyone. Uh, if you're here, welcome. Uh, I'm making sure we say hello to everyone. Um, let me jump on. Uh, there we go. There we go. Tim, how's it going? How's it going, man? How's, I'm, how's, uh, your, how's your Monday, my man? I'm not sure. <laughs> really? It's it's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not bad. It's just like I'm not sure. It's kind of a. It's kind of an off. It's kind of an off Monday. It's not like not a bad way. It's just it was a very like. I don't know, it was just weird getting back, like shifting, getting back into things. So like Rebecca and Harrison got back last night. Oh yeah. And then I, I didn't see them until this morning when I got up and Harrison didn't want anything to do with me this morning. So that was kind of weird. Like he hasn't seen you forever. So he, doesn't he hasn't seen me in over two weeks. And like, I go in and wake him up in the morning. He's like, no, 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 no. mommy. No, no, no. I want no. mommy. And I'm, I'm like, all right, that's fine. <laughs> so I left for like 45 minutes, and then I hear, dad, dad, daddy, daddy. And I'm like, what? He goes, go downstairs. And I'm like, all right, cool, let's go. All right. If you guys if you guys are, are, are seeing us either on Facebook or YouTube, make sure you put a comment in. Uh, tell us what you're drinking. Um, and give us a thumbs up. I just want to make sure that we are, we are still live. Uh, if I haven't lost my phone as well. I think I lost my phone. <laughs> all right someone's messing with my stuff here who's messing with your stuff um my single barrel snob account on youtube is, is uh on a kid account <laughs> yeah if you're a kid account you can't see it <laughs> uh somebody messed with my stuff this is weird i don't even know how to fix this <laughs> i can't comment on anything that's happening in the show uh, that's that's because I restricted it to people that are under the age of thirteen. It's no longer for kids. It, so if your kid is watching it, is watching your YouTube, <laughs> or what you? No, I know, but I mean, my single barrel snob account, like, won't. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's that's something we'll have to figure out while the show's live. <laughs> you know, the, the kinks and joys of life. There we go. All right, I'm seeing you coming in. What's up? What's up? What's up, people? Let's get these comments thanks, over thanks, here. Yeah. Going. There we go. Thanks for, thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. I appreciate you guys joining. Uh, this Monday is going to be special. We have uh, we have some guests on this Monday. Um, I'm making sure that I share this with all our group. If you watch it, make sure you share with all your friends. Hey, Jack, I'm getting text messages from other people saying the chat's disabled on YouTube. So it's not just a me thing then. Okay. Let me see. Hmm. Uh, interesting. Let me make sure. Uh, let me go to the YouTube. Yep, site. I'm. I've. I'm now six comics. Six comments de deep of people saying they can't comment on YouTube. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just me. We <laughs> are working on the problem, people. We are working on the problem. We, we can fix this. Let me see. <laughs> we have the technology. We I swear <laughs> we can make it better. We we definitely can make it better. But uh, let me make sure that. Uh, uh, to everyone that commented and, and sent me messages, appreciate it because I thought it was just my YouTube. I thought it was wonky. Hold man, on. we're having we're 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 in the technical difficulties today, man. We're uh hold on, hold on. we're we're deep in it. Hold on, hold on. Uh, no, I said no is not made for kids. Uh, and uh, hold on. <laughs> No one cares about this being off. If you're uh, if you're just tuning in or you're watching the recast, um, <laughs> we are having technical difficulties here. Um, 
Jack did something with the comments, uh, and it messed up the comments I, I, for I really, everybody. I really didn't, didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. <laughs> is, is anybody able to comment now? Because I literally didn't do anything. I just went in and changed the setting like I usually do. Let me, let me click this out. Let me reload this. Let's see what happens. Let's, Let's see what happens. Better. <laughs> Oh, I got muted. Technical foul. Technical <laughs> foul. I, I, I promise. Do I? Can you do it now? I sure can. Okay. All right. All right. So we we are good now. Okay. Okay. All right. Y'all can y'all can comment now. So, uh, needless to say, yes, I uh, I I I just I just make sure I, I set I set it up so. I make sure that is already set up to be posted when we are done. Instead of it, normally YouTube would take about 24 hours to process it before they actually do any monetization or see if we violated any rules or whatnot. So that's why. But yes, uh, welcome. If you are here, welcome to the party. <laughs> <laughs> We fixed it, guys. It's live. We're, we're but back. it, it we're says back. everything about what today is. Today is Monday. Man, Monday sucks. <laughs> Just in case you guys are it wondering, was. Monday oh, does suck. And 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 I want to know what you guys are drinking because right now I'm already tempted to start drinking barrel proof because that's the Monday I'm. Having. I'm drinking. I'm drinking barrel proof. Make no oh, make no mistake. I'm definitely <laughs> drinking barrel proof. My. Uh, but this Monday is a little particular. Why? Because we we have a we have a, an interesting brand today. Uh, this brand has been around. They're probably one of the fastest growing brand in the bourbon industry. They're they're everywhere, and I will tell you right now, a lot of brands comes everywhere and decide to focus on state like you know major big states. But this brand actually showed up in Nebraska quite early. And even did a barrel pick already in Nebraska. And I, that was probably the fastest thing I've ever seen. And everybody talks about it. Crazy thing is, I never tasted their juice. And <laughs> had the, and seriously, I had the opportunity to taste the juice. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, how about have the master distiller or the person that makes the juice tell me about it before I taste it, which is against everything I advise people. But. This time I decided to break the mold. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. We're breaking the mold. We are breaking the mold. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we are bringing in the one, the only, the men, the myth, the legend, the owners, and the master distiller and members <laughs> of Penelope, my Danny, welcome to the party. It has to be Penelope for us to actually break the internet so no one can come up. So <laughs> I'm nervous. Does my mic work? Your mic mic's working. <laughs> Your mic is working. We just had we had technical difficulties all around today. Every, everybody was having technical difficulty, but we figured it out. We figured Mike's it out. Mike. Cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers to Monday's suck. How about that? <laughs> yes. Yes. Absolutely. Mondays truly suck. And <laughs> and Mike, th Mike, Danny, thanks for coming on. I appreciate you guys coming on. Me. Thank uh, you for having us. For having us. Is uh, I, I love, love talking to younger craft brand because I truly believe sometimes that you guys are the future of what whiskey would look like. And I like, I always like to know what inspires you guys or what got you in this journey and what the consumer should look forward to. Mike, Danny, you guys choose who goes first. Introduce yourself and tell the people who you are. Yeah, Mike Paladini from uh, Penelope Bourbon. And um, that was quite a grand entrance. God, yeah. I feel like I got to like, got a lot of <laughs> uh, hype to live up to here, but um, no, thanks for having us on. And uh Looking forward to being here. I am the father of the Penelope, who's two and a half and a complete maniac right now. <laughs> she was crying up till about ten minutes ago. So, just uh, my my, my little dude, my little dude will be three on the thirtieth. So, I think we're pretty dang close to the the terrorist ages here. My my dude is a terrorist, so I hear you on that one. <laughs> yeah. And everyone I talk to, they're like, oh, wait till they're four. It doesn't get any easier. And then I'll tell, I see my neighbor. My neighbor's like, wait till she's 18. 
I'm like, <laughs> what like what's, what's going on here? My daughter, my daughter is on the 19th. My daughter's come to turn 14. Oh wow. And I tell you what. We're all screwed. You have you have a <laughs> day in your life till you have to have a, a, a life. I like to say an awakening or a life moment where you have a whole full adult argument with a 14 year old and you go, wait a minute, why are we even having this? I'm your dad. Yeah. That should be sufficient in this, in this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got twin girls on the way. Oh, you see, congratulations! Whoa. You you are in for a treat. Yeah. You're in. We can to our bottling runs around that. Yes, <laughs> yes, you're in for a treat. Trust me. Uh, but go ahead and introduce yourself, Danny. You are pretty. You are pretty quiet. Tell tell the people who you are. I'm Danny Polisi. I'm one of the co-founders of Penelope Bourbon. Um, Mike's friend. We've been friends since the since we were. I don't even know. Twelve. <laughs> yeah. We were next door neighbors growing up and uh, little parents still live in the same house. We, his house just backed up to mine. Danny always threw great parties, by the way. Yeah. Great. So he I, is. Danny's he parents is, were always out of town. He's a troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're talking very convenient. <laughs> yeah, it's a very convenient party house. <laughs> nice. Um, so how did you guys get into bourbon? We, I, get, I guess we need to know the background and the story to understand how we ended up here. Yeah, I mean, you know, Danny and I are just a couple of guys from Jersey, you know, and then all of a sudden we're like knee deep in this in this whiskey business. And, uh, you know, him and I, we, we've been obviously friends for a long time and we, you know, we love, you know, our, our obviously our drink of choice, our spirit of choice was bourbon. That's really all we, either one of us drank. I mean, I never really got into the whole craft beer craze. I still haven't to this day. Um, and you know, I don't know when my, my wife and I, we were trying to have children for a while and I don't know if anyone's ever gone through that, but everyone's posting pictures of kids on internet. And I mean, you know, after four or five years, that starts to weigh on you. It starts to get very stressful, but we always said, if we had a girl, we wanted to name her Penelope. Um, that was like, we've known that for, you know, since heck for, for a long time. So when we finally found out, obviously there was a lot of mixed emotions and, uh, just, I don't know, just a different, you know, whole new outlook on things. And I just was like, shit, you know, well, after the, the good news settled in, I said, you know, Penelope bourbon just like had a little ring to it. And I said, you know, it's very different than the very masculine world of whiskey. Mm -hmm. And uh, so from a branding perspective, I just was like, heck man, it's got a great ring to it. And I think I, you know, I, I end up cold calling MGP. I said, Jim, well, if I'm going to be in the whiskey business, I need whiskey. So mm -hmm. I had uh, I had cold called MGP. And I uh, really just started from there. That was in the summer of 2018. And so uh, I remember I had, I remember MGP and I had to kind of tease it out, act like I was like some like whale looking to make like a big purchase. Meanwhile, I was purchasing six barrels. But they didn't know that in the beginning. I had to kind of like finagle that. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? <laughs> so uh, they, they, they basically, uh, they go, do you want a plus one? I said, yeah, throw, I'm going to get a plus one. That'd be awesome. I'll find someone to come. Okay. A day later, I'm with Danny. I'm like, Dude, you want to go to like Lawrenceburg, Indiana? He's like, what for? I'm like, I got this whiskey meeting. He's like, cool, man. Sure, count me in. <laughs> and that's how it all started. That was in the summer. Uh, yeah. I was I was hooked from that trip on. I mean, it was just like, what? Like, we're gonna make some bourbon. We're gonna make bourbon. We're gonna do this. You know, like, hell yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, MGP is so massive too. Like, it's hard to go there and not be impressed, right? Like, you know, from the yeah. control room to just like how massive those old Seagram's buildings are, and even the rig houses. I mean, I think it's hard to not be impressed, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then we, we walked in, and I mean, they had a table out, and I mean, there must, I don't know how many mash bills were on that table, but I mean, the whole table is just filled with samples, and we were just like, oh, like, all right. <laughs> And you know, know, this is like a deer in headlights situation. Yeah. We're not, we're not from this. In, like we, I knew nothing. Neither did Danny. We walk in there. We're like, Oh, this is so cool. Like, you know, like we didn't know like almost like fanboys a little bit, but <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was quite the experience. And, you know, they just kind of sit there, fold their arms and what's that? Like, what do you want? We, you, yeah. you, that was you're it? here for the meeting. What do you want? <laughs> And you know, from our side, we're sitting there going, well, dude, like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, we didn't know like what like anything. And I remember I'm trying to like get an answer out of like, well, what do you think about this one? 
And I look at the FGP guys, they're like, yeah, it's good. Like every answer was that. It was like, yeah, it's good. And so uh, Danny and I just started tinkering right there on the fly. Um, and it's so funny, you know, we went in there. I think one of the best things that happened to us was going in there without any preconceived notions about supply chain, production, blending, bottling. We literally went in there truly, I mean, with a consumer palette. Like, do we like it? Yes. And so our entire business was kind of formed off of that initial meeting. We always said if we went back there now, uh, we totally overcomplicate it. Totally. You, know, you kind of just think past the most important element, which is, does it taste good? Do you like it? Sure. It was, yeah. And to this day, that's the same, those are the same three matches we use in all of our products. Um, now, so, different, different variables, you know, there's some variables there, but really that's our blend that, to this day. So TV, yeah, because we started, go ahead. I was going to say, we started looking, we started tasting like individual mash bills out of MGP and then, you know, nothing was really striking, striking us and and then we just started kind of blending the ones that we like. Like I like the I like their corn mash bill. Mike like their like rye mash bill, their weed and mash bill. And we just started putting them together, and you know we just came up with what what he said. We something we like. It's plain and simple. We didn't even we didn't even put to, put it together that it was four grains after we blended it. Somebody from MGP looks at us. They're like, yeah, I think that's that's four grains. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> he goes, you should put that on the label. I go, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> so are you guys so are you guys the 99, you're 99 one and then the 36 percent and then the weeded? Is that what it is? We're doing the 21 percent rye 21 percent okay. and then the 45 weeded. Okay. And then the 99 won the corn, right? Yep. Yeah. Right. Cool. So if you're joining us, this is Mike, this is Danny, and they are Penelope. And this Monday, we have Penelope on. Um, as you can tell from what they just revealed, because transparency is everything on Monday sucks, Penelope is MGP. Uh, that's what they wanted it to be. Right. As from even our last week interview, we're realizing that the new thing now is why would you reinvent the wheel, right? Yeah. Why, why right. would you reinvent the wheel if you can just take it and make it better? Right, and bring a new approach to to the to consumers. So I have a confession for you guys, and I'm going to sound very misogynistic when I say this. So you have to, you, I have to apologize. The reason why I never actually picked up your bottle is because of the name. Wow. Okay. Man. Because not I, the peonies. You don't like the peonies. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will be honest. I'll be honest. That's the reason why. The reason why is because I really thought it was, you know, a woman brand, right? He came out with the pink bottle looking, and you know, he was just, you know, he he, he felt he felt really like you were targeting more uh, woman consumers. So when I went in, I'm like, oh. This Penelope thing, and you guys had the rose, I believe, like mm -hmm. the rose. And I saw that I'm like, oh. <laughs> one more thing, you know, one more one more things that is out there. I'm, I'm not. So, uh, I, I, I heard about your brand, and it wasn't even like, it wasn't even like three months later, and I believe your spirit world were mm -hmm. that yeah. was doing yeah. that tasting, and I was invited to down. I'm like, nah, I'm not going. I, 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 I'm not. So it was, it's just been something that I stayed away from for the longest time because I'm like, okay, Penelope is pink. And obviously, uh, two, yeah, about um, two or three months later after that, again, you realize I bought this bottle a long time ago. Oh, yeah. That's the original. Sure. I bought this bottle a long Frozen. Because <laughs> you guys know what it was. Yeah, it was, it was what? You, you were frozen. frozen. You're good. Oh, okay. So 5% corn, 90% rye, 5% wheat. You know, non, -fil non chill filters. I'm like, oh, first I was attracted by the black label and whatnot. It wasn't the rose thing that, of course, I was getting away from. And then I'm like, okay. Okay, and he's breaking bourbon and sell back. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get me a bottle. And but the craziest thing is, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get me a bottle because it just look cool. And I left it on the on the shelf. I never had it. All right, right? Well, that's the first one we did too. That was the original. Correct. The original uh, yeah. So now, what a what a uh, great opportunity to open a bottle. 
Yes, yes. Man. You know, fast forward to now, uh, what, a year, a year later, I still have this bottle here. And Mike and I talk on, on, on IG. He's like, you, you, have you tried a product yet? And I didn't even have the courage <laughs> to tell him, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be offended. No, nah, it's all good. So, Mike, so is, that my, the, is that the new label that you have there? The new barrel strength? Okay, so I want to show you guys this. Like, if you're watching right now, I want to show you the evolution, anymore. the evolution of this brand. Like, so this is, this is one of the first barrel strengths. This is actually batch two barrel strength. I thought it was one, it's batch two. And now you have, you know, the new label down there. And I mean, I, that thing is absolutely breathtaking. This I have is, to say this, that's this is what you guys had before, right? This yeah. is, this is, this is the before and now, yeah, and now. there you go. That's that. That's so, There you go. And well, so that, the original though, that was the original one, man. That Danny and I basically did that on Microsoft word. The old yeah. one, I go, just put a new time times Roman I like this one, but definitely my favorite one is this black, you know, the black map definitely come up. I mean, the name I love because believe it or not, Penelope in French or English is the same. It's still Penelope. And, and I, actually have, I actually have a friend when I grew up to school with her name is Loli Penelope. So yeah, it, yeah, yeah. I never yeah. thought about that. Yeah. yeah. It's it's like Penelope market. No problem pronouncing your your brand because it's Penelope, <laughs> Penelope, Penelope, Penelope. It's the same thing. It's, it's not. So that's I, awesome. And 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 that's that's the craziest thing is is I, I, I today, believe it or not, is gonna be officially the first day that I'm having Penelope. I'm excited. I'm gonna so. have to change the name of the show to Monday's kick ass. <laughs> <laughs> So I haven't had I haven't had any of you guys' brand since since this like inaugural release. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to see where it's gone now, like how it's grown and how it's evolved. And it seems like you guys have a pretty good idea and concept now behind what you're doing and where you want the brand to go. Uh, yeah, yes and no. I think there's a okay. lot. Like, we're, you know, we're still a lot of it's just we're just like figuring it out as we go. Um, you know, for us, it, we, we've never raised any outside capital. So in the beginning, we, we started with six barrels okay. and we and, and we wanted to start small. Well, number one, that was like all we really could afford. And, and we wanted to uh, we knew we were going to make some mistakes. I mean, we had no idea. I didn't even know if the caps were going to fit. <laughs> like It was kind of like, are they going to fit? Um, <laughs> so like things like that, you know, there's so many things in the supply chain, like looking back on it. But we it was small. We wanted to start small and. Uh, you know, we were going to be self-distributing it from our car. So when we finally got our permit in New Jersey, we had and getting your license in New Jersey was actually probably one of the hardest permits to get still to this day. We actually don't even have our per our license in Jersey. We have like a temporary permit to operate and work from here for two years. It's unbelievable. But we uh, so what we ended up doing was, you know, just loading up the car and went door to door, restaurant to restaurant, just locally in, in New Jersey. I mean, we were going down to AC. We were going up to, you know, Bergen County down by the, the suburbs of Philly, um, <coughs> you know, New York City, bless you. And uh, and then so from six barrels, it went to 15. And then what we do is we take that cash and then put it towards the next one. And we slowly, and to this day, that's exactly what we're doing. We're always thinking through that that inventory piece uh, up, till, up till recently. Then we, we did work on an arrangement with the MGP, which was great for kind of a little bit more forward thinking longer term. But uh, yeah, that's been the idea, man. Just just piece by piece. So we always started with our initial expression. So this was our eighty proof. So and right. I'll be honest with you. Exactly. Yep. So, so this you, this one we had a very. This was coming out of the gate. We only had one skew, right? And it was eighty. And we and we did do this one intentionally. So this right. one was more of, you know, when you're coming out, you just we wanted to find some sort of differentiator. Um, and truthfully, to me, the biggest differentiator was that. Everyone was going towards high proof, you know. Everything was moving towards high proof, and I just said, "Look, if we're going to do anything, we just got to do the polar opposite of what everyone's doing." And uh, so that's why we went to eighty, and then we tried to kind of go head with basil. So with our talking high to corn, high wheat, what's that? Sure. No, I was just saying. I was. I remember. It was either you or Danny I was talking to originally. I mean, obviously, and that was one of the things I remember that you guys really because it was the first thing. I was like, you know, where's the guys' company headed? What are you guys' thoughts? What are your hopes? And you were like, hey, we're going to come out of the gate with something that everyone can drink and enjoy. And I feel like that's kind of still maybe your guys' mantra, or has it changed a little bit? Or what? what's – was that still kind of like your guys' like creed, I guess you could say? Well, 
I think it's more of, cause we are, you know, look, we're a family run business. It's named after my daughter, like Danny's, you know, it, it's all family. Right. And so we do kind of look at ourselves as like a family of products. We got something for everybody. You know what I mean? So, you know, I think for us, it's, uh, it's really never been about marketing towards females. It's actually just been more of being like hey, a little bit more gender inclusive. And that was kind of the idea. Let's, you know, let's just kind of cast a net. And what's funny is a lot of people think that too. They'll think that like, oh, it's marketed towards women. But what's funny is like, besides our, our four grain, our 80 proof, everything and, and the rosé, every other product we release has been cast. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say 90% of what we work on is cast. Right. So it's, uh, it's, it's just, it's just interesting. Yeah. So guys, this is, this is vastly different than the product that I have from original. Like it is. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. No, it really is. Like it has, so what, it has. A what is the mash bill on the, on your, on the, uh, that this is your straight bourbon whiskey. Uh, the one that is, you know, 80 proof. What is that? 80? Yeah. 80. White label, 80 proof, which normally 80 proof is not something I even enjoy drinking, but. Yeah. So far, I'm, I'm liking this. It's light. It's very approachable. The nose is, is straightforward, you know, very fruity. It's, it's a little tiny spice, just a little tiny I'm spice. Finish. Yeah, enough to actually make you wonder. This is the, we can be friends. Okay. You know, that, that's what that's what I call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah. funny, Light, though, and we do, we don't chill filter it. We realize that like once you start filtering it or chill filtering it, you just strip so much. It's you know it's nothing after that. And like that rye gives it that spice on there. And we wanted it to like give a little something, but still be kind of like that light, enjoyable product. You know? No, it's a uh, it's very approachable, very fruity apple. Very you know a little bit. You we get a little bit of that malting it just a little bit and you get some spice that's probably the most introductory bourbon i've ever tasted so that was the idea yeah behind it is you guys have succeeded this i can actually bring somebody on the bourbon 101 and tell them you know what start with this it's good. i love the sound of that and i'll be honest with you we hear from a lot of folks you bring that to a house party that will be the house party favorite yeah, I forgot to tell you, I was at a party on Saturday for the Derby. And uh, so I bring this and I brought a couple of our products. And I mean, this thing was dead by the end of the party. You know, people yeah. were bringing it, people were bringing it straight. People were. Watch out, Tito, here we come. Can, there you go. I, I can there definitely go. see it. I can see it because I will tell you right now, this is a straightforward. How, how long have you been aged? That, uh, that batch is 33 months. Okay. And, and eventually, and, we're going to try we're, that product. We want to get to an all four year. I, I, at four years, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a dangerous bourbon. Ooh. It's going to be a dangerous bourbon because right now you can still taste a little bit of the youth, mm -hmm. but is is definitely approachable. Definitely approachable. That's awesome. So I, I'm going to definitely say that if you're just like me and you're biased because of the name, and you know it came off gimmicky to you i would definitely say if you're new to bourbon i think i'm gonna put this in the, the bourbon i advise people to start with this is All right. approachable. It's, it's very approachable. <laughs> it's straightforward you know no bullshit it's just oh you you can you can start with this yep which That's which comes back to my point by the way uh mike Every girlfriend will love to start with this. So. <laughs> no, and, and I'll be honest with you, man. And, and we never hear people talk. So we always hear about barrel strength and things like that. But you know what's funny? That 80 proof is our number one seller. Yeah. We never hear anybody talking about it. Penelope, but it's the number one Penelope, seller. Penelope, yeah, by Penelope, far. Because uh, because because you love your girlfriend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Penelope, because I love my wife. That should be your that should be your because I love my wife. I like that. Because I love my wife. <laughs> I always get I always get this green apple note out of younger mm -hmm. MGP. Mm -hmm. And it's still it's still faintly in there, but it's it's really like Jack was saying, this is super balanced, you know. Um do you I don't want I don't want to sound like it's a like it's a ding against your guys's uh 
intellectual skills here, but was the was the the corn and the wheat was that like an accident, or were you guys like, let's mix it together and see if it works? Because there's there's this really soft sweetness that comes through from that high corn and that wheat, like it rounds out really well. How did how did you guys yeah. come about that idea? Like I'm, that's what I'm before, most curious. Before about. you guys, yeah. answer, Tim, the one of your devices is is echoing. Kill one, either your phone or that is no, it's you. That's all you, bud. Really, I can hear you echoing. It's not, I'm not, I promise you, I'm not echoing. Oh. It's on your end. <laughs> Thought you guys were just asking us questions twice. What's that from Goodfellas? They call him Tommy two times. Tommy two times. Tommy two yeah. times. Yeah. Tommy two times. Yeah. That's I want right. to get the papers, the papers. <laughs> No, he yeah, he wanted to know was this an accident or did he really uh is this uh you know it was, was this an intentional choice? It was it was definitely uh it was not super intentional at all, actually. We just because if like we were saying before, like if we went back and tried to and sat down and tried to come up with this product again, we would not be using three mash bills and blending them together because it's like a logistics nightmare to some extent. <laughs> um but you know, we were tasting through the individual mash bills at MGP and, you know, we liked the different components, but we just wanted to see what they tasted like together. So we uh, started putting them together and that, and it just, we just kind of stumbled on it. I remember we were tasting for a while, you know, we were getting a little groggy drink, you know, we weren't spitting it out, you know? Yeah. I didn't even know what the spit cup was for. I'm like, all right, let's go game on. Call an Uber, Danny. <laughs> so when we came up with it, we were like, Oh, this is great. You know, like this is this is good. Is this good for you? He's like, Yeah, I love it. And uh, and then we were we left. And like that night, we're like, there's no way that was good, you know, like <laughs> and then we we came back to it, you know, the, I guess a day or two later, they sent us a sample of what we blended together. And I remember Mike called me, he's like, because he got the package and he was like, Holy shit, it's good. It's real good. <laughs> I, I actually remember I that. Like, no way, dude. <laughs> He was yeah. ready to drop the project, if, I think, if, if it wasn't good. <laughs> if you're just joining us, we are talking about the straight uh, Penelope, the youngest uh, but juice. You mentioned like the the balance, that it, it's balanced or it tastes balanced. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, that is like such a key thing that we're trying to do with our blend. It's like the, we have these three mash bills and they're all kind of dynamic in their own in their own way. And on their own, they're not, you know, the, on their own, they don't really, you know, we wouldn't put them in a bottle per se, but like when you start blending them together, like you either create a disaster or you create like this, this harmony, you know, and it's really, <laughs> it's really difficult. You know, like we, we change a percentage point on a blend by like 1% and it goes like a different way. You lose the nose or the finish is, is busted or, you know, so we uh and like the early batches were all over the place and we were just trying to figure out how these mash bills work together and we're i think we're, yeah. we're starting on, to so we in. never had a facility either so we would either be at castle and key in frankfurt doing this and you know it was tricky just contracting out all of that mm -hmm. and it wasn't up till probably batch four of barrel strength batch five of our 80 mm -hmm. proof our four grain where we actually started to like kind of had enough know-how where we were like, all right, we're going to be, when we put POs in for barrels, there's going to be POs for our four grain. There's POs for barrel strength. There's POs for rosé. And we would, I mean, to this day now, you know, you pull out, how many samples did you just get in the mail for, for our batch oh, seven barrel strength? Okay. 150? I'm sitting we'll on top of that. Through, right we'll through, we'll sit through every single barrel. barrel sample. And, you know, you just got to go one by one. We'll kick some out. Some need more age. Some go here, okay. some go there. And I'll be honest, when we started doing the individual barrel samples and creating the blend and starting to whittle it down one by one, that made a big difference. So, so which brings me to my <laughs> there's, the, there's the barrel sample. <laughs> how, how, do you, how do you offer barrel picks when you are still picking barrels yourself? That's well. That's what I always had to tell folks. So we never had the cons. I mean, every now and then, there, there's a couple single barrels that we had, like uh, you know, our our so uh, we we have like four. <laughs> like there is no single. Like, there's not a single barrel notion. Every now and then, when we there, there'll probably be three or four in that big box Danny just sent. 
So okay. that's how we'll start accruing it. So we always knew when we uh, we had said, look, we're we love blending. That's that's who we are. That's our shtick. That's great. We and when we love doing. I mean, that we're totally fine with that. And that's what how Private Select came about. We said, look, let's try to get, you know, for us like four to five year barrels, which for us is like. That's like ancient. That's like I'm watching the History Channel with that age for us, at least at that time. And so we said, look, let's give folks the ability to, to create their own blend. Like, okay. because everything we've always done, um, and it all started with like, we remember that first trip to MGP very, very, very well. Is this a great experience, right? It was fun. It was interesting and just different. And we always wanted to try to replicate that for our, for our customers, right? Whether it's our distributors, our retailers, our consumers, and so it's like, sometimes we'll send out private select kits. They've got the graduated cylinder, they got pipettes, pets and mm -hmm. you know, we'll, we'll get on a zoom call, but that's how, we, cause we don't have the notion of a single barrel per se. Okay. Uh, Unless it was one of a couple. Jordan asked a really interesting question. He wanted to know if there, you have any plan of finishing or any finishes. Well, we have the rosé cast finish. Okay. That was a real, that was a very popular one. I mean, and truthfully, we, we, I mean, I, I almost canceled that project. Um, truthfully, my, my wife came up with it because, you know, you look at ports, you look at sherries, you got a lot of stuff going on. And I thought like, look, you know, we're, we're just uh, our whole motto has always been what everyone else is doing, try to do the opposite. Right. And if, if it works. So that's to, to, that's the caveat with that. And uh, we kind of, she's mentioned Rosé. We said, all right, that sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously Rosé is like massive, right? It's a pretty big, it's like a big, big marketing bump just from the name. Mm -hmm. uh, but we didn't realize that like Rosé is aged in stainless steel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was like actually impossible. And we found some small vineyard. Well, we didn't. Speyside did. Who's our, the, who was brokering, trying to help us find these. I remember he called us. He's like, I got 12, 225 Baruchs. Do you want them? I said, yeah. Wow. We'll take them. So that's how it all started. That's wild, man. That's super cool. Yeah. That was kind of the idea. And then, and but I mean, truthfully, we did it because it was cool. We like, you know, and I thought it came out really good. The feedback was very positive on it. And we're, we're going to be releasing batch uh, two of it in July. Okay. You heard it here first. If you like the rose, they're releasing a new cat, a new version of it, July. Uh, if you can't wait. Um, when are you guys going to be in Kentucky? <laughs> I got a call with the distributor Cause, on cause Thursday. Okay, because I gotta I gotta call people to call people just to get this here. So no, we gotta change that. Yeah, we gotta change that. That's the you, one you, we're, we're, you trying know, to, we're actually slowing down a little bit. That's too. very odd. Because you guys showed up in Nebraska. Yeah, uh, I believe Iowa and uh, uh a few places, and I, I you you were not the first person to mention this, uh uh Tim. A few people told me they're like, I can't find this in uh I can't find this in Kentucky and New York oh. is also having issues. And I'm like, how is that possible? Yeah. In the beginning, man, I'll tell you one of the hardest distributors that we found to get was our second one, which, you know, ended up being empire in New York. It's Somebody a, yeah, we're, we're in Pennsylvania. It is in Pennsylvania. They say, wow, it's definitely in Pennsylvania. Yeah, for sure. But you we know, you know, so, so I don't crazy. understand. I usually don't understand distribution It's probably, I, I believe one of the hardest thing for me to understand because I'm like, you know, some people say they can't get something here, but some people, somebody else can get it here. But I was just happy you guys were in Nebraska. And I think two stores now will be, are doing a barrel pick with you guys uh, in Nebraska. A couple of friends of mine on Facebook right now of Nebraska uh, Bourbon Association actually uh, help. Um, oh, nice with that barrel pick that you guys are doing here with kegs i believe yeah we got four we got ken's kegs out of lincoln yeah, yeah. your world spirit and things and yeah. wine beer and spirits so spirit and things nick is actually a good friend of mine oh nice and, and again because i was so biased when he was talking about your brand on doing a barrel <laughs> pick i'm like mm. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like not today not today and, not and, today. and i have to say and I have to say, and that's that's one of the reasons why I always like to know about a brand before I deep, I deep, you know, I dive in. You know, when a brand is new uh, and just coming on, I, I believe everybody deserves a chance. Unless I've tried something of yours that is crappy, I'm not gonna give you a chance anymore. But if I've never had you, I will always give you a chance. Why? Because awesome. you just don't know what you don't know. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So let's go to 
my tagline, which the truth is barrel proof, I'm going to open your private barrel select. I'm assuming this is this is a barrel strength. Uh, well, we had a few. I actually threw an extra one in there. So we one of the early ones we did. So we did 195 proof. Okay. It was actually really good. And, and I know I put that in yours as well, too, Tim. And that, that so uh, which one is the it? small one, the two ounce, the two ounce. Okay. That one. This is the 95 proof one? That's the 95 proof. Okay, I'm going to ride on this so I don't forget. Sorry about it. So, so no, 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 you're fine. Also, I'm just I sitting there. Say, I go, throw the 95 in there. Why not? We'll have, you know, make, make it a little, um, make it a party in that box. Okay. This, <laughs> this barrel proof, this batch five barrel proof is, is great, man. Like, like compared to this batch two barrel strength. And that, you guys, no, that can, and by the way, that's actually batch get, six. The label says, can we five. get, can we get like a replay of the face you guys made when I showed you the old label? <laughs> <That's a tough laughs> one. I was like, whoa, whoa. Like, I just got my second COVID shot. I was like hit by a bus. So which one is the higher proof? Is it the one without the label? The one with the, the one without the label is the low one. The one yeah. with the label. Yeah. I will I will start with the with the low label, the low the, the low proof just to see. How that came about is what we did seven private selects, breaking the seal being the first one last fall. And you know there was a big restaurant group in New Jersey. Uh, 118 proof, by that. the way. 118 proof on this on this thing. Yep. That's why I really liked it. Uh, color, you know, I, I would say the color variation is not that drastic. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there is there is there is just is it there's this weird funk every time you pour. You know, you pour it. There's this weird funk that you get first. Yeah. Before you actually get to the nose. Those got some funk to them. Especially the rye, the 21 rye barrels. That was six floor warehouse G. Like, oh, man, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. There's some really good ones. We got we got a oh, whole fuck you guys. We got a nice big batch from them, and that's uh, what's sure driving a lot of that. A little excited on the show. <laughs> <laughs> And this, yeah, Calvin Cooperage. I mean, they were good. They were. They, this they were ninety five is awesome, dude. Nice. Damn Thank it, you, man. man. What was that blend, Danny? I don't. The bottles back there. What was it like? It was about twenty percent wheat, and then even parts corn. Yeah. Rye, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Ooh, okay, I see you. <laughs> Send me the good shit, and and you know, don't let me have any in my state. That's cool. No, that's cool. So I like that so much, you know, Danny and I, because we always tinker with, I, you know, you know how many times we go to each other and we're like, should we just increase the proof to like 90? I know. All the time. And I just said, you know what, that 95 proof, we, I, we, we were always talking about doing something in that 100 proof range. Because uh, I just, I did enjoy that, that 95 proof. I mean, uh, like, it does not taste like 95 at all. Damn, this is good, bro. It does not taste like 95. You think this is a, a 100 proof or above. Yeah. That spiciness on the back definitely gets you excited. All right. All right. I'm excited now. <laughs> it's, it does not taste like a 95. So, yeah, uh, what do you call it? Madeline was the, one of the people that helped with the, oh, yeah, Maddie. Uh, with, 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 with the pick. There she is. And I would tell I would tell you if she 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 can be picky with her with her bourbon. So that is I'm I'm impressed. Maddie's the best. What's up, Maddie? Man, oh, that's awesome. Yes, this is what we're tasting now. I kind of hate you. I guys love right I now. love the type of picture you guys took. The, the, you guys are the first brand that sent me nice P, PNG pictures that I can use oh, right nice. in the middle of our screen. God, I even have a shared asset folder. Nice, yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> Somebody goes, "You have an asset." I go, "Let me just share it with you." <laughs> but uh, I like the bottle in the middle. Me too. I love that. And by the way, Danny, we're going to crush at Saints home games, tailgates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got the Saints colors. Everybody, everybody is enjoying this 95. Nice. That's awesome. I'm mad. I'm mad. We're fighting now, guys. Just so you know, we're fighting now. <laughs> yeah. Actually, like, I mean, we, we like. This is too good. We're all over the place. We don't know. You know, we know we want to do something in the 90s again. The Rosé is a 94 proof, but it's, you know, it's very limited. 
kind of what we're doing there. So question yeah. is, what do you do in that 90 proof range? Or a hundred, you know, or a hundred. Yeah. I'm about to call up that vineyard in France and tell them to increase production so they can get us more barrels. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, those rosé barrels are kind of harder to come around. I'll stomp on the grapes myself. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. I mean, that's the idea. We, we'll do whatever they give us. So we have 12, and just that's fine. That's totally fine. We're cool with that. No, it's, uh, it's definitely – I will tell you right now, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very – I didn't expect this. Again, I, I will tell you right now, I, I don't want y'all to take this the wrong way, but I truly came to this literally very biased. Like, okay, <laughs> what is this guy has to offer? This Penelope people, right? And I, I feel like that guy on Facebook that would say Penelope was for you know was marketed for girl changed my mind. You know, the guy that stayed at the table. If you guys seen that meme. Who no, say something no, no. outrageous and say change my mind? Yeah, yeah. If on Facebook you see like that's lowly, I feel like that guy that side are like, oh, Penelope is not real bourbon. Change my mind, and now <laughs> I lowly feel like I just took my foot and shove it down all the way down my throat. Okay, okay. Because... Mondays, it's no big deal. No, but this is what it's all about, though. You know, part of it too is just on you know meeting the folks and like you know chatting, like all of us is having a good time, a couple of pours. I will, I will tell you right now, I. You, you, you guys have exceeded my my expectations. Sweet. This it really. You know what? I've yeah, been changing the name of the show to Monday's Kick Ass. Yeah. <laughs> I've been I've been agitating the shit out of this too, and this really like really opens up with. Uh... Are you still mad at us? Oh yeah, I'm still mad. <laughs> okay. I'm mad. I'm I'm still mad, but in the best way possible. I'm mad. <laughs> we'll bring some down. We're actually going to be at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival this year as one of the craft. Oh, nice. Okay, well, uh, we'll hang out. And that was one of the reasons too. I was like, "Yo, we gotta get into, we gotta get into Kentucky." I mean, this is so definitely that's real definitely. important for us. That's the that's one state that we are Man. gonna do what we can to get get that going. It's it's, it's fruity, it's floral, it's malty, it's caramel. It's mm. got a tiny, tiny bit of oak in the back. I mean, this thing is just the spice the the and the spice on this hit different. It is. It's like it's like a it's like a flutter. Yes. It's like a it's like a it's like a tingle. It's like a, a tingle that comes back and forth. You remind me of when you when I eat some. Uh, we have something in Africa called, called pepper stew, and it's usually when you have a cold that your mom will make you pepper stew to kind of open up your sinuses and clear off your your throat, mm -hmm. and it's very it, it it opens up everything and make you breathe better. And this pepper, you know, the pepperiness of the rye remind me of anise because they put a lot of anise and ginger in it. So it's not like spicy. It's more that level of almost tingling sensation that make you go, oh, I, I, want, I want a little bit more of this. All right. I'm going to have to we'll license that to Johnson & Johnson. <laughs> Dude, I'll tell you right now though, I mean that was you know that was why I mean I always enjoyed that uh I always enjoyed that part. Yeah, do we I'll get you some. We gotta we got and that's why I wanted to throw that in there because that was one of my favorites. Um I really I mean I really enjoyed it. And uh, so is that is that like a like a barrel, a single barrel, you know, no, big? that was a batch. That okay. Was Which so was that? Was that? that a was that a private batch select, or what was what was the story there? So, so we did the seven private selects. So breaking the seal is in that wheelhouse, right? Then we had six others. One of those. So then we batched the remaining six. So we started with breaking seal because we were actually still trying to figure out the how to do the program, right? Mm -hmm. So we kind of were like breaking bourbon was cool and seal box like guys, we're just kind of figuring this out as we go, right? Mm -hmm. And we kind of made, it was like a trial and error. So we had carved out a couple extra barrels to start to figure it out. And then we did six more. So we batched up everything else we had from those barrels. And then the last one we did was the 95 proof out of that huh. batch. Are you, okay. are, what, which is it going to be batch seven then? That would be the 95? No, no, bad. No. So we're, but we're making more of the 95. I think, and that's, and then now that we have our own blending and bottling line, which has like been really, really eye opening and just game changing. Um, from a product perspective for us. Yeah, this 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 should be one of your steady products. Yeah, honestly. I agree. Yeah, this this definitely should be. Uh, 
I will I will tell you right now, I would drink this over the straight because yeah. this is like right at the I like to say the straight is beginner, this is intermediate and expert. Yeah, this can be a sure. daily drinker yep. for an expert, you know, somebody who is very versed in the in the in <laughs> into awesome, bourbon, man. you will impress them as a daily drinker. So you think you're selling a lot of the you know that straight, but if you put this on a shelf, this is gonna fly real fast. Because yeah. we went from like zero to sixty, we were we had an eighty proof out there. Then we're like, we oh, okay, here's a barrel strength, one hundred and sixteen proof. We just Nothing. skipped over everything else. <laughs> no, this ninety five. No, this ninety five should should be your should definitely be your um. What what do you call it? What do they oh, call yeah. that your expression? Staple. Your staple. Staple. Your staple. Yeah. Whatever you guys did. Whatever you did, keep doing it. It rocks. Yeah, Seriously. this this definitely it is it. No, no, no smoke, no bullshit. No, that is about it though. Don't, don't that is a no, good product. No unicorn poop. No nothing. Just just release this one. We will. Oh yeah, no, we got the labels. We already bought more labels for it too. We're gonna we're definitely rattling it off. It's on May's production schedule. That sounds even cool that we're saying that because now we got the facility. I'm like, Danny, put it on the production schedule. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. What's funny though, what's funny is that so when you put it on that, the, in New Jersey, the, we got a the, lot of on the production prints. schedule. What does that mean? The release date will be. We think Danny, let's put that one on you. <laughs> yeah. Uh well, June, June 1st, probably. Okay. Wait, wait, no, wait. Yeah, yeah, June 1st. <laughs> no, it will be. I mean, we got because we, we want to ship more to Tommy's and then. We'll probably do a bunch of it. So yeah, that's the idea. And they they use it for a lot of cocktails. So I know Mike. Mike's always like, "Oh man." <laughs> no, it's all good. I mean, we got three menu slots on that menu because of that. So yes. it's not a big no, deal. This this right here, this right here is the sweet spot. Yep, I love that. I right just here. made up my Great. mind. We might not even have to trial. Like normally, what we'll do now because we do have our facility. Maybe what we would do is do like a hundred cases because we know some are going to go to Tommy's and then we'll. Just make sure people are honest and like it. And then, uh, but based on the feedback that we've gotten, obviously from you guys, but that if that is going to be a larger scale production, that would then go to Kentucky, um, either, you know, Castle and Key, Bartstown, or Strong Spirits. Yeah. This right here is, this is it. This is All it. Right. Yeah. The, the new, so, the new parts. We got to hone the in new, on new. The new, new. So moving yeah. forward, let's talk about let's talk about this guy. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, what it, what is this about? Well, so this was this is the second wave of private select um that we were doing. Danny came up with a bunch of different blends. Uh you know, in this to kind of similar vein as as last, these so those were last fall. This is uh this is now coming out this year, uh within the next month or so. And these were these, I mean, we, there's probably like 11, 12 different blends that we have. So this is one of those variations. So keep in mind, they're all very different, like uh, breaking the seal part two. Uh, so that one was a high rye that you have this year. They did a very high wheat with like 16 and a half percent corn, 16 and a half percent rye. So it was just very different. The profiles are very different across the board. And I think that was the whole beauty of the program was like, you could go any direction really. Um, and for us, it was, you know, we, we were transparent, like it's great R and D as we're still trying to learn our craft from a blending perspective. Sure. So it's been a really just helpful, uh, kind of helpful exercise for sure. And then the, and, uh, the mash bill that we used. had a question. He wanted to know what are all the things behind Denny's, uh, table right there? What are all those sample behind <laughs> Denny's table? It's like breaking bad. Yeah. And they're just different batches, different barrel samples, uh, some like finishing tests, some like wood chip finishing tests and scales. And Are you working on some finish then? <laughs> We're playing with stuff. <laughs> okay. So that's got, your, that's got, your, three, that's your uh, mad scientist laboratory? Yeah. yeah I'm excited. We got three BDN moment. barrels inbound from Spain right now. And yeah. I studied abroad in what Spain. Kind of, what kind of Rio barrels? Rio de Naranja. Orange wine Ooh. out of Sevilla. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I say, you know, I studied in Granada. So I'm, you know, Granada, just like a Jersey way of saying it. But, you <laughs> know, I, I, Granada. I lived with the Spanish family. It was awesome, man. I was, you know, 21. Um, but yeah, no, we were, because, you know, in some of our, our, some of our barrel strengths to get, you get some of that orange kind of citrus flavor profile. We thought this could be a nice pairing. 
So orange, like unfiltered wine, or orange isn't like actual orange wine. Actually, I haven't even gotten the description yet. They just asked, like, we got some VDNs. I said, send me what you got. The description, it's like the the orange peels are in the. They put them in the barrels and they ferment them in the barrels with the wine, and then they extract it. Wow, it's okay. like super. It's super rich and like I'll just it. Yeah, it's it's pretty. I like it a lot. You can't find it in the How US. Find it in the US. But, yeah, the wine you can't find in the US. Um, it's really like it's big in like Portugal and Spain. Um, so like we got some of it sent over, and we were able to like kind of soak some wood chips and do it like at a, on a benchtop kind of scale to replicate what maybe it would taste like in a barrel. You know, and it, it's like it's phenomenal. And, you know, our profile is like very soft and, um, you know, depending on how we blend it, it has like citruses in it and that those kind of notes. And it goes well with that orange part of it. Tastes like a mimosa. That's what I'm just going to tell people. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm into that because you get, you know, some of that, some of those MGP barrels, you get, you get that. It's either, I feel like you can go either and or both. You get that green apple or you get that orange peel or that orange zest. So those kind of intermingle or they go one way or the other. So I think that'd probably work really well. That's I'm Spanish kind of lemon cello. I like that. Nice. I like that, Matt. So let, let me move to the, the one you sent us the 21 dash one twenty one. Oh, nice. Okay. This one right here. Mm -hmm. This little one right here. 21 dash one. That has got okay. some. Uh, that has the, got some the, heavy mouthfeel. Um, the other thing also is the color is much darker. Mm. Mm -hmm. much I darker think the proof color. on that. I think the proof is about one fourteen and a half. One fourteen yeah. and a half proof. Okay. Yeah, about that. If I remember correctly, it's right in that right one fourteen point four maybe. And much of there's a you know much of the age. I think a big component of it is a is a five year, twenty one rye. Yeah, but mm. again. The nose on this completely different too. Yeah. So I'm looking at the nose on this nose is like zesty, right? I'm I'm loving the nose on this. It's zesty. It's like this is real like cardamom, like cardamom and orange peel, like real forward on the nose. Very orange, orange peel, very, very zesty. Citrusy. I think I might have that. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, the nose is quite intriguing on this. Mm. You know, when the room's quiet, there's something magical going on. Mm -hmm. I'm like on edge of my seat. <laughs> Tell me things. <laughs> Tell me something. Tell me something. I only have and one. It can be good, bad, or ugly. I only have one question. What are you guys using this batch for? Seriously, where is this going? Yeah, Damn, no, that's a good thing I gotta, I gotta look. I, I do, I do think Danny? that is going. That's going out to Nebraska. You are staring at the camera. I'm not. I'm not liking that. <laughs> what, what are you using? I'm staring at Mike. I'm like, where did you? Where did you move this? I know. I know. <laughs> it's going. There's one. That's one. It's going to be going to Nebraska for sure. Okay. So one twenty one is going to Nebraska, Jack. then. Jack. Yes. Uh, and I, I mean, I, I don't. I don't know. Like you know, I don't know if. Uh, I mean, I could say it. I mean, it doesn't matter. But that's uh, that's the one that Spirits and Things picked. Spirit World and Spirits and Things. No, I don't. Uh, did the the both pick the same thing? That's uh, a Nebraska pick. Look. I thought Matt, they did Madeline, the same one. They were doing a split. Yep, Maddie. Madeline's been talking Nebraska about pick. this. So ah. I remember that's her the, saying that's at the one twenty one. Yeah, yeah. I don't even she know. She said where the one twenty one is delicious. So it's she's her hands are on that. Yeah, that is that look, is the Nebraska twenty one. The twenty. The 121 blend, drool face, drool face, drool face. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was so for a while. That, you know, I, I, knew they, I knew they had picked it. I thought I'd include that one. I thought that because kind of So we kind of did fun. it together. Okay. All right. So 121, 121. Is, is coming to my state. That's right. Uh, I know where I'm going to be. 
when he come out. Hey, hey I uh, <laughs> think of me, please. Okay. <laughs> we, gotta have, we gotta get you guys out to Jersey, man. Yeah. You guys, if you saw our facility too, you get a kick out of it. There's like a bunch of cars in our driveway. I don't know whose they are. <laughs> Eventually, we'll get rid of them. I don't know whose they are. <laughs> the 121 is coming to my state. High wheat expression. Okay. Uh, is the 121 a high a high wheat expression? What's the what's the blend in this? Uh, that was a higher rye. I can I can pull it up if I uh, give me a minute. <laughs> okay, Tim, think of me. <laughs> yeah, Florida might be calling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I have to I, I have to ask Madeline. Madeline, are they are you sure Spirit Word and Spirit Thing are splitting this thing, or are they splitting one barrel? No, I remember they were. Yeah, we went. We went a little higher with the rye in that blend, and it's kind of. Let me pull it up. So is this the 30, the is this, the, is this a 36, 36 percent rye? It's just a 21 rye, 21 rye. percentage of the blend increased. But we just used a little uh, more. Okay. Blade. Okay, cool. So we, yeah, we just, amped, right. that one just was increased. It's uh there's a, there's a, a fluttering that's happening here on my, on my, my <laughs> lips too. I don't know. I don't okay. know what's uh All right. I don't know what's I know happening. It, I got it right I, here. I got, I, I got, I got all of y'all. I'm a, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna make sure I'm I'm there for for all of y'all. You guys want to uh, know the, the mash bill on that one? The, the mm -hmm. final mash on 121 is 80% corn, 10% rye, 7% wheat, which is wow, wheat. that's low, yeah, very low for oh yeah, that's 50% less than what we usually have, 3% malt. And you say it's a five year? Wow. Uh, the okay. wheat the wheat was dead on four years. The rye was five year three months. And the corn was five years spot dead on. So it's a, it's this is one of the older out, out of your batches so far. Yeah, this is like yeah. This is this was around like way back when. We, we, <laughs> we, we found this batch of rye like last summer. Actually, maybe it was even a year ago. And then uh, we like we loved it. And Mike was basically like, "Hey, where where where, where do we find these barrels? Like, where's this batch? You, like, can we get?" We basically bought the rest of the batch. If you live in Nebraska, all I'm going to say is... Don't sleep. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> if you live Thank in Nebraska, you. you probably got lucky. Hell yeah. Well, so. Nebraska, we love Nebraska. They were one of the, And our growth strategy was always about if a distributor reached out to us, um, especially back when we had just started. I mean, we were selling it from our car soon there before. If That's what I'm saying. You guys were so state. new, and they already, you guys had like an event, and I'm like, no one even heard about these people. Why are they having an event? No one cares. Yeah. Show you know, show us what you what you got first. You know. So it was. It, it came was really almost too weird for me. I'm like, well, you guys barely got on a shelf. Why are you? Why are they even having a barrel pick? Like, who, who are these people? I know we were, it was, it was just, uh, we were just kind of grinding, man, in the beginning, just going, trying to do whatever we could scrape. Call. I mean, I don't think, I mean, it was the, the early parts of going uh, into Nebraska was one of the best learning experiences for us. Um, yeah, we got the, yeah, like Maddie, I see there, but we got to meet great people, but you know, we learned the hard way that when you're not in your home state, it's not as easy selling product a thousand yeah. miles away. Sure. You know, no sure. one's ever heard of you where you don't. We, we, we need to have you in Nebraska and, and, and have you and have a good time with y'all. Hell yeah. I'm actually coming out there. I think I'm coming out in June. Mid June. Okay. Let me know. Yeah. Let me know. Some, I of my, some, to of know my favorite, some of my favorite brands have great startup trunk stories. And so from from where you were, let's say you were probably what towards the end of 2018 when you guys were selling this out of your trunk to where we are now. Early 2019. Okay, to where we are now. Have you guys had that that wow moment yet where you're like Oh man, we're doing this. <laughs> Probably. What do you think, Danny? You go. I've been talking yeah, a lot. I just, yeah, some, it's like someone always said it was like a roller coaster. So some days you're like, oh, no, you know, like now we're making our own stuff in our own, you know, facility. And then some days it's like, you, you know, you got the rest of the country to go. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> you barely scratched the surface. So you just got to keep your head down and keep going forward. 
Yeah. But I mean, there has to be there has to be some kind of joy and excitement for you guys, right? I mean, oh, yeah. like we went, you went from trunk salesmen to, I mean, well, you, guys said, you said I'm still a trunk salesman. Said, I still sell. Yeah. I'm not saying you're not. Sales. I'm not saying you're not a trunk salesman now. But I mean, like you are like the epitome, like selling crap out of your trunk. Like that's the epitome <laughs> of a startup, you know. It was yeah. awesome. Where, it was where, like the most gratifying sale because it was like they wanted the they want the bourbon and then you're like, oh, I just gotta grab it right out of my car. And they're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. They they would think like, okay, who's your distributor? I'm like, I'm the distributor, I'll be right back. And I go to my car and I bring it in and be like, here you go. And I'd have them sign my phone, QuickBooks, right there. And I'd be like, Danny got another sale. And then I and then every, it was so funny when I would try to drive home, you know, you're driving home, you and I never realized it maybe at the time, but you're like Oh, there's another one. I, it would take me hours to get home, even though I was maybe 20 minutes away, because I'd be like, I gotta stop at this place. Oh, I get I get in my car 10 feet. I gotta stop at this place. Or you and, get in the car, you get in the car with your wife or family, and it's she my wife would be like, We're going straight to the destination, right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Stop. <laughs> There'd that's be times I'd ping Danny I'm like, right oh, now, we're going to dinner there. That's the life of a salesman. Yeah. You have you you do not sleep. You literally are just you're hustling and when yeah. you're hustling you hustlers don't sleep yeah no it's true man so, i mean that's, I the, but that's part of it that. the grind yeah you gotta grind yeah you gotta grind and you know it's interesting it's just danny and i we got jace now who's helping us out uh with the production jace has been amazing we got uh, an amazing group of like folks around the country that have just been super supportive helping us out and uh you know one of the i mean for us it's just you know, we always said like we wanted to start this brand on two-year-old juice, like that's all we got. And I almost kind of wanted to respect the industry in the sense that like, dude, we don't know what the hell we're doing. I'm not going to be messing around with old. Like, let's just start and like we'll get there, right? It's a wow. marathon, so we always view this as a marathon. Like, you know, it's okay to make mistakes along the way. And for us, it was always about, you know, with barrel strength, eventually barrel strength, and with private selects, which gets us excited is. This kind of gives us a whoop, there we go. This gives us a glimpse and maybe somewhat into the future because mm -hmm. this eventually is going to be an all six year product, mm. you know. And and our four grain is going to be a four year. Maybe we have a ninety five proof that's somewhere in that four to five year range. And you know, and I think so. We know it's a long, it's a it's a marathon, right? But, and but um, you are you are not afraid of the journey. No, it's you know we're gonna fuck up along the way and we'll make mistakes and. I think you just got to be open and transparent about how we're doing it, what we're doing, what's in it. And, you know, I think people are cool with that, you know, hopefully, I mean, and some people aren't, I mean, that's okay too. But for us, that's, that's been our MO and maybe eventually we will have something other than these three mash bills, but I'll tell you something really interesting. We are so like from a product perspective, we are got a lot going on with just these three mash bills. And I, and, and I think one of the best things that's for us, is we're, we're hyper-focused on just this, right? Whether it's a cast finish, whether it's a private select, custom blend, 80 proof, proof age, whatever. Um, and I think that's for us, that, that's why we don't have a rye whiskey. That's, it's just, we got, our, we got our hands full with what we're working on now and, you know, just going to keep at it. That is really good to hear. Now, we are at the, the corner of the show before we let you guys go uh we always have this segment of the show that is called advice that does not suck <laughs> because monday suck we're gonna have advice that does not suck and uh, we're gonna start with you danny uh, if you have one advice that does not suck on monday what will be the one advice you give people that does not suck this is very important part of the show Fuck the bourbon. This is actually the most important part. <laughs> <laughs> Advice that does not. Suck. <laughs> All right. Let me think about this. How long does it usually take people to come up with something? Oh, people come up with them, you know, whatever your grandma told you, your life guru told you, your motivation speaker that you heard on the phone on a, on a way to a sales told you. One thing that you thought of on the toilet that say, you know what, I'm a genius. <laughs> this is probably the best line ever. We take any advice as long as they it does not suck. Well, Danny, what do you think? You want me to rattle one off? Yeah, you got one. 
I mean, this is from my wife, but if your wife tells you to take down the fucking trash, just shut up and take down the trash. Oh, that's a winner. That's that it. That is the winner. How, you know. So advice that do not suck for this Monday is if the <laughs> wife asks you to take out the trash, man, take out the motherfucking trash. <laughs> Don't you sit out here and give excuses, pretend, go around, say you actually don't know, you don't smell it, or you would do it later. Just stand the fuck up and take out the motherfucking trash. <laughs> one time for the one time. That is an advice that do not suck. It may actually save your life as well. <laughs> Trust me. Anything, Danny? You still don't know? I was in... <laughs> If Don't you, pee with the seat down. <laughs> well, yeah. I was, <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure, Danny. I'm sure people are already giving you advice right now. Now that you're gonna have twins. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. What's the best one so far that made you go? <laughs> what? Oh yeah, best advice I got was on the twin front was nothing's gonna save you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We That's have a true. second. We have a, a runner up on this Monday. We, you hear it first. If you're having twins, nothing is gonna save nothing's you. Nothing's gonna save you, guys. Even Jesus coming down is not gonna save you. Not gonna save you're you. gonna be a twins father. Uh, guys, what is what is uh, one thing you want your consumers to know? What is this one thing that you want them to know as your as either coming soon or something that they need to be aware of when it comes to your brand? Uh, yeah. so they can actually take that and remember that for uh for when next time they get on the shelf uh to pick up penelope they can actually remember hey maybe in july there's something new coming like you said or in june there's new product coming well you said a few things that are coming soon tell us what's coming up and also something that they need to look forward to yeah, absolutely. And thank you guys for having us on too. We appreciate absolutely. it. It's been, a, it's been awesome. Thank you again. You you made a you you made a believer out of me, and that's that's a big deal. Dude, that's awesome. Because, trust no, me, I appreciate it. I hate everybody equally. So <laughs> if you made a believer out of me, you definitely have some good juice. Thank you, man. No, I appreciate it. And uh no, for us, look, we got private selects dropping. They're gonna start dropping uh probably late May, right around Memorial Day weekend. You'll they'll be be sprinkled out through the markets we're in. But late May, we got Barrel Strength Batch 7 hitting, uh, what, Danny, mid-June? Yeah. Mid to late June. And then uh, a rosé cast finish coming in July, Batch 2. Okay, guys, you heard it here first. They are out here dropping new product. Uh, if your state don't have it, talk to Penelope. They actually, the most, they're very communicative. They, they, they are very easy to talk to. Maybe y'all can find a distributor and make this thing happen. You yeah. know, distributors can be paying the ass some time, but if you actually bug them and tell them you need that product, they have to make it happen for you because you are the one that kept keep them going. Absolutely. So if you want Penelope in your in your state, just tell them, fuck you. I want Penelope. <laughs> and they, you know, we'll find they will find a distributor. I'm sure as the hustler that they are, they're never afraid to actually sell some shit. Hell yeah. So if you Hell if yeah. you talk to a distributor, they will make it happen. So we'll give them more work to do. And by the end, we all be happy drinking good juice and making amazing, amazing new friendship. Like I said before, on this channel, we are people lovers first and bourbon lovers second. So you're not part of our, our group. You're not part of our family. If you ever need to share a moment, if you ever need to share anything, all you have to do is reach out. If there's ever anything that is coming out that you want us to talk about, you know where we live, you have our addresses, put it out, send an email. We will be sure to actually tell the people where you're coming out. You you made a believer out of me and moving forward, I will also be one of the people that'll be your biggest supporter as well. Love so you guys. Thank you very much. It. It. Thank you. That means a Cheers lot. Cheers to Thank you me. guys. Cheers to what all your new ventures. Cheers to what the good things that are coming. We appreciate y'all. And thank you all for coming on Monday Sucks. Thank you, guys. Cheers, gentlemen. Cheers. Cheers, guys. All right. Well, we'll see you next time. Good night. Timmy. Yo. Was that good or was that good? Dude. Dude. I, that 90, I, that 95? I, like I can be proud of Nebraska. That 95?
that I can be proud, I can be literally work. proud of Nebraska when it comes to whiskey because we're about to we're about to blow up. Ooh, we are hundred percent about to blow up. We pick up an amazing, amazing cast here in Nebraska. We're about to have a good time. People are making fun of your cutoff shirt right now. They don't know that you were in the hood. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to. I'm trying to rep. I'm trying to rep the hood. Look, look at that. Rep, look at that. And, and, and here hood. too, I'm, I'm repping the hood too. Look at that. Look at that. I'm trying to rep so, the hood. Everybody, everybody is repping is is repping the hood today. Um, but Penelope, I'm I'm quite impressed. I'm very impressed by what they what they have going on. So guys, if you don't, you haven't picked up Penelope, I will tell you, it, it's worth the try. It's definitely worth the trial. Uh, definitely, definitely worth every every penny you're gonna drop on it. So trust me, you want to. You definitely want to want to at least give it a try. I would tell you right now, if anything, uh, if you're anything like me, uh, just a moment here. I'll put this. He's linking. He's linking in the description below. You want to get some? <laughs> you want to get some hood merch? <laughs> I will tell you right now, it's very easy. Simple. Boom. Put the website is there. Put is it 1M or 2M? Is, is it 1M or 2Ms? No, it's just 1M. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> is it some.com? You can pick up You can pick up your merch there. Too easy. <laughs> New Jersey has something good now. Okay, yeah. New Jersey. Yeah, they does. make New Jersey proud. They definitely make New Jersey proud. They they are they are the Jersey boys. They and they're making they're making you proud. You know, it's no it's no longer uh, what do you call it, Snooky and everybody else is not <laughs> that is is making New Jersey proud. Usually we had Jersey sure. We it's have, not it's not it's not GTL anymore. It's it's no it's Penelope. Not, yeah it's, it's, it's Penelope. Penelope Penelope and uh, and, and friends. That's what it's gonna be. <laughs> yes. No, we yeah, we really wanted to be close to you guys. That's why we have we have the face right in front of y'all. <laughs> Monday sucks less in the hood. Appreciate it, John. That is that is true. So tell me, man. We we haven't given people any advice. We haven't told it, 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 people anything. Um, you know, it's been a while that we have not played a game, and there is there is one game that or uh, one thing that we have not done in a while. What's that? And. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to go for I'm going to type it right now. Go for gold. Walking away. You can hear it. Tap 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 tap. We 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 need we need to actually we we haven't played this in a while and we love the fact that now we can actually put things on the screen. So here we go. This is what we haven't played in a while. <laughs> oh my god I we haven't have we haven't one. played that in forever for this i have one for this this week. we we and the craziest thing is we haven't played this in forever and i'm like you know what tim and i have not played this in forever so we need to we need to and if you're here and you're and you're you you understand this game usually we have bottle that made you go what the fuck I'll, and I'll show you. That, I'll a segment of bottle that make you go what the fuck is a bottle that you've tried something new something that you've had a sip of and you went what the fuck good or bad either way it's not even okay here's the thing though it's not even something that i got to try it's just okay. something it's just something that's out right now and this thing, oh, this yeah. thing is saying, what the fuck is happening right now? So when this was first originally released, the first press release that this was going to be a $2,500 bottle, then they recalibrated and they landed somewhere in like this, the, the um, $1,600 mark. It's like 1200 to 1600 Now that's kind of where it's sitting. I got okay. interesting enough. I got three text messages about this tonight, and uh, they were raving and ranting about how great it was. And the only thing that sucks is how pricey it is. But holy shit, is that really where we're at now? That I'm going to put Rabbit Hole in the craft distillery. I'm going to put them in the craft distillery category. That a craft distillery is selling 
a 15-year-old sourced bourbon finished for $1,500. I know, right? Like, like, is this, like, when this first came out, I said, we're fucked. Literally, it's talking, in fact, Nick's in the chat right now, talking to my buddy Nick about it. He's a huge rabbit hole f- fan. And I said, we're fucked. This is the beginning of the bubble popping. We're all fucked. The second the distillery decides to, to rake in the dough, basically say, oh, fuck the secondary. We're, we're going to be the secondary. We're fucked. You know, I'm. I'm still waiting to try that is, it. That is a that is also a conversation that is is worth having, right? Uh, I understand the craft that goes into a barrel, that you know that goes into in making anything, you know. And like I said, rabbit hole is on my wall of vein. I bought it because sure. I, I just like the bottle. I believe a lot of things are invested in a bottle, but I'll be honest. It is not. It is not. And I will tell you right now, with with God on my soul, it is not a brand that I will spend $1,500 of my earned money on because I truly believe if you're going to have the audacity, and I'm using the word audacity, to charge your consumer $1,500, right? You better have a track record to back that shit up, right? Yeah. You better have oh, a, yeah. a track record. There's not enough Instagram Live to earn you fifteen hundred dollars. I don't know which unicorn poop was in that juice, but I can tell you with a certitude that is a is some bottle worth fifteen hundred dollars. Yes, but is Rabbit Hole particularly? worth fifteen hundred dollars i will i will i will i will with a conscience hand on my heart say highway robbery get the fuck out of here that's but this that's, isn't this isn't the first time this has happened who did it first buffalo trace with their double eagle rare two grand msrp and, and, oh no 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 but here's the thing uh there is a saying in my country that say your elder is your brother right just just like it's a double attender, your elder is your brother, meaning literally that if somebody have had a track record to prove something and they come on and say, I've been doing this shit for a long time, right? Sure. And sure. now I'm telling you that this shit I'm bringing out is going to blow your motherfucking mind, right? So that, that person literally have a track record. Right. You can't, we can't compare Buffalo Trace to, we can't compare Buffalo oh, Trace. Oh, no. Uh, no, 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 I to, agree. To, uh, to uh, uh, Rabbit Hole. Th- those two, those two don't go, it's like saying somebody is a, doc- a doctor and somebody started in kindergarten. Those two don't go together. Yeah, I agree. So I, agree. I, I appreciate that they're trying something to see if it's going to work. But come on, party people, come on. <laughs> Get the fuck on. <laughs> Let's be honest. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Fifteen hundred dollars charging for something. It, it, you truly have to have proven your track. I don't think Buffalo Trace is known enough in what they do. To you mean to, rabbit hole? I mean, mean I personally, hole. I personally, for example, there is a lot of brand that come with ludicrous price. But then when you dig deep into it, you will find what. You know what the the price come from. Perfect example, Woodford Baccarat. Sure, you are literally paying. You're paying for the crystal. For the crystal, Baccarat crystals, the Baccarat finest crystal, crystal in guess all what? the land. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it because you're selling the crystal. It just so happened okay. to have juice in it. Yep, that's one. Um, uh, what do they? Uh, uh, there's another one. Uh. McAllen, McAllen, uh, what do you call reflection or the McAllen M? The 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 glass itself costs half of the price, but that's still even $9.99, right? $9.99, right? So if we're gonna go on and talking about shit that we are talking about just to just to explain a price, uh where is it? Yeah, yeah, 
I'm right there with you, man. I don't. I don't. Where, where see, is it? Show me. I don't, show me what exactly it is that you're you're bringing in that juice. That is how, how old is it? What what? How, 15 how many years old. Is the juice Fifteen in? years old. Fifteen is what? Fifteen. Okay. But see, here's here's my question. Here's the reflection, by the way. Here's my question. Okay, all that fifteen year old juice that hit the market the last, let's say, in the last year. Is that the same stuff, or they get something special that's fifteen year old? Because that fifteen year old that hit the market, that's just Jim Beam. So am I paying a main six hundred dollars for some Jim Beam that got rejected by some Asian entity, or is this some other fifteen year old? Is this some new new fifteen year old whiskey? Uh, and and brother, I, I wish I can I can tell you something. But I, I will look at you and tell you, I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't. So, Nick, are you saying that this 15-year-old is the same 15-year-old that's in the whiskey drummer, Doc Swanson's Old Soul, Bardstown Bourbon Company? Um, oh, you God, who else? That's what I think it is. And I don't – I cannot justify – Unless that Mizanura, unless that Mizanura did something crazy to it and it changed it remarkably, die today. Die today. I mean, this person does make a, a, a point. He said it's not for the, the beginner. It's made for high-end people that want to show off their money. That's pretty much it. I don't and, I can't and agree there with people, that. There, there's people that would do that. It's not hundred and ten, yeah, hundred thousand dollars good. Nick, okay, Nick right. has Nick has two of them, by the way. Nick owns two of them. That dude owns two of them. That dude doesn't show off his money. He is not a show off money kind of guy. So I can't agree with the it's made for the person to show off. It's very but, it's but, the, but is it, 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 it so why would one spend that money then? Why would someone spend two grand on a 20 year old Eagle Rare? Let's Why go would to actually someone... more, 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 more uh, happier. What the fuck? <laughs> Trump, truly. Let's go. Because Let's go. It, it, it's upsetting me and my homegirls. This type of press is upsetting me and my homegirls. Like, y'all are out here. Let me go ghetto for a minute. Y'all are out here charging people on normal leg $1,500 for just some raggedy ass bourbon. And then you go around saying, oh my God, y'all are trashing our bourbon. You know what? It's upsetting me and my homegirls. No, not today. Not today. To better news. To better news. Okay, to better news. To better news. All right, let's go. Uh, one a bottle that made me go, "What the fuck?" And y'all know I'm not a rye guy. Y'all know this. But this bottle that made me a rye guy. It is very sad that Mister Dixon Detman is is leaving. Kentucky. Is that batch four? Is that batch four, Rye? Oh, no, brother. Is batch that batch one? one? Oh, dude, that's such a fucking good Rye. That is such a good fucking Rye. This right that's here, ladies and gentlemen, this right here tastes so good. Yep. That's in my, that's in my so top Rye of all time. fucking good. Yep. And believe it or not, I got it at retail with the help of my man. Damn, damn, Steve. What's up? What's up, and, Steve? And when I posted, when I posted this, Dixon himself sent me a message. You know, I'm glad he's in Kentucky because I told him I would like to shake his hand. Yeah. That 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 is the best. I told him. The, I told him I would like to the, shake his hand for the work he's done. Yeah. Um, I will tell y'all right now. I may have a few of those. This, yeah. this Stop right here, it. made me go, "What the fuck?" Yeah. Fuck, this, this, this right here, this batch here, right here, made me go, "What the fuck?" 
Now I own the last batch that he just came out with the last batch. Number four. Number four yeah. batch. But this right here from 2007. 2017. This right here. This right here is the shit. This bottle. That bottle. Go, what the fuck? That bottle was so good when it came out. I was in a tasting room. I tried it. I literally walked out of the tasting room into the real retail store, grabbed one off the shelf, and paid for it right then and there. It just it blew my fucking mind. It, it this, blew my mind. This bottle right here slaps in every way that a bottle should slap. So if you guys don't have Kentucky Owl, batch one. Apparently, the odd number were the best. Batch one and three. This right here is, is the shit that come. Yep. Agreed. So this bottle made me go, what the fuck? Made me uh, realize that I missed out on the ride train for the long time. <laughs> but still love O Carter. Still love O Carter. I, I'm still a no love o, o Carter lover. But Dixon... Yeah, agreed. The band, I, I, I yeah. really hope I really hope Dixon branches off and does something like the Carters did because yeah, I'm I'm hoping Stoli, he does. Stoli really did screw up there. Yeah, he really, really did. This 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 thing smell like if D if Jesus was about to turn water into whiskey, this is what he will have turned it into. I'm curious if I have any more of that left. Stole this this away this somewhere. truly this 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 this. this this truly, truly, if Jesus was about to turn water into, <laughs> into whiskey, I'm pretty sure this is what it would taste like. Oh, my God. It's like a bed of flowers, bed of lavenders. I would put this against Thomas Handy. This will beat Thomas Handy. I, I don't disagree. It. I don't disagree with that statement. Actually. This right here will beat Thomas Handy. In a one on one, it will beat it. And this comes from somebody who doesn't like rye. So I'm very particular about my rye. This will be a Thomas Handy, hands down. Hands down. Oh, oh man. I can smell it all day. It's like a fresh, it's a, it's like the fresh smell of a baby. You just want to smell it all day. <laughs> oh. 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 Jesus, it's mm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I can't I can't uh, disagree with you on that one. They really do they really do mess up a lot of shit. So, oh no no no! I'll tell you right now, Mictors cannot stand against this one. They will come close. They'll come close, but this, I don't know which Mictors. Maybe 2017 Mictors, right? It will be a neck-to-neck -neck thing. But if we do the 2019 or 20 Mictors, right, this will beat it. I will tell yeah. you, I love, I love my Mictors, right? That's like my go-to rye if I need a rye. And the Mictors Toasted Barrel Strength Rye is my favorite. M10, I will tell you right now, I don't know how... All of you guys get excited about M10. I don't know. M10 for me is, is probably Mictor's biggest hustle. They will, they will sell you M10, but I will tell you right now, them weird ass shit bottles are the worst <laughs> of Mictor's. I will buy any of their regular expressions, their toasted rye, their uh, barrel strength rye any day versus that M10 bourbon all right for me it's just it, it's okay it's not impressive i was so excited when, when when like i was like a kid at christmas when when literally bourbon jeeper said i have a christmas gift for you and i opened the box and i saw that mixture's barrel strength i shit you not i literally went like a little baby went hey like I was gig, I was Google guy guy in against uh, for that makers barrel strength. 
Like, no shit. That's where I knew when I see bourbon jeepers for the first time, I'll kiss them immediately. It's just, <laughs> I will tell you right now, is is oh, I, I don't know why people rush on the M10. M10 for me is probably the biggest maker's hustle. It's way too expensive for what it tastes like. It's not the greatest out there, but I'll buy the barrel strength, their barrel strength of whatever the expression and their regular expression any day. And that's on period. Anywho, that was our segment of bottle that made you go, what the fuck? So <laughs> I had to, I definitely had to put it out there for y'all. So y'all know what's up. Anyway, now that we're getting closer to the end of the show, Brother Tim, anything for our people? Uh, Yeah, actually. Um... I've been I've been wrestling with some things the last last couple of weeks, and okay. I will say I will say I'm not going to go into detail because the show will end up being another 45 minutes long. <laughs> but I will say, um, just just a word of advice: be true to yourself, and don't get comfortable and stagnant with where you are in your life. Keep 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 pushing. And keep striving to be the best version of whatever you're doing. Don't give up and don't get comfortable with where you're at. Grow and progress. That sounds like a motivational book that I read somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all heard it first. Tim just gave you Monday advice that does not suck. Grow and progress. And don't stay stagnant. Do you know why sharks always swim? Because if they stop swimming, they will die. They die. So if you consider yourself a shark and you're ready to kill at any time in this game called life, you always got to keep pushing and got to keep moving. Right? I wish I can say it, but I can't say it as well as he did. So for my... Advice that does not suck today. <sighs> because of how my 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 week went. I you had a rough it, week. Yes. You had a rough week. I'll keep it simple like this. Find joy in small moments. Mm. Life will not always be kind to you. But only you can find joy in small moment. So even if it's that one evening, find joy hmm. in those moments. We tend to actually think that joy is this destination or happiness is this destination that we are driving and we're gonna get to eventually. And we are, you know, we are piloting our life and and you know we are keep going. But I will tell you, you're never going to get there. You are never going to get there. So find joy in small moments. It's either is a moment where you're giggling with your kid, giggling with your spouse, that moment where you found something on TV that's so funny. If you're going to laugh, laugh so hard that your belly ache so you can actually have that moment of joy for you. Find joy in small moments. And then you will create memories that you can't remember when mm. things get tougher because life was meant to be hard. <laughs> life was meant to be hard. We were made to suffer. Today is not given. Today is a gift by whomever you pray to, the universe, God, or whomever. That's why they call it a present. So find joy in this small moment that are present to you. If you don't, I promise you, you grow miserable and miserable and keep growing miserably. And next thing you know, you've lived that whole life to find that happiness destination that you have not. So find joy in small moment. That would be my advice of this Monday that does not suck. 
Trust me. And for all of you guys watching, I have I have a request for you guys. When you have a moment, uh, I see our viewership is growing and growing and growing. I'm loving this. Let's keep sharing it. Let's make Monday truly a party. Uh, we have a lineup of amazing people coming in the following weeks that you guys don't want to miss. I'm telling you and, guys, you and, know how we keep it. Possibly a live show that yes. is also in the yes. works. Yes, possibly a live show too. So we we do have a lot of great things planned for you all. We brought this back on YouTube here and on Facebook to really give give you guys that experience that you need. That thing where we really keep the show the way we want to. Um, make sure when you subscribe to the Hood Sommelier, turn the bell on. If you subscribe to Modern Thirst, turn the bell on. The bell on. So when we push something out, you guys are aware of it. Uh, next week, I'm having a members corner um, where I'm creating a membership. And the reason why is because. If you guys listen to The Truth is Barrel Proof, every time I post an episode of The Truth is Barrel Proof, I'm thinking of actually doing a video of that, of that, uh, of that uh, Barrel Proof, but that will be only for members. That will not be for everybody. So if you're a member, you're that. We need the support. Trust me, I spend my money easily and happily to make sure we run function, we function normally every day. So anything you can do to support our channel, I appreciate it. Follow us, like us, support us. All your donation all goes literally into the show itself. It's to keep up with StreamYard, designer that design our stuff, everything that we do literally is money. But I don't expect anything out of y'all but your love and support. But if you do, I'm always happy to. So, Tim, tell the people where they can find you. <laughs> TBR, single barrel snob, single barrel snob at Instagram, uh, modernthirst.com, whiskey news and reviews. Find me on the Truth is Barrel Proof podcast, five minute hot take reviews. And hey, you want to review some stuff and you want to be on, you want to be on the podcast? Get a hold of Jack. Send him your five minute review. I'm actually lacking. I got six that I have to send to you. <laughs> send him your send him your five minute review, and boom, you're on the Truth Barrel Proof podcast. That is that that is actually the best way to put it. I'm the Hood Summer D. And if you want to know about Scotch and want to know a little bit about bourbon and a little bit about gin and a little bit about a little bit about a little bit of everything, I know it all. I know a little bit about everything. But remember, I teach a lot about scotch. That's my specialty. But follow me on all my channels. Uh, if you follow me on IG, I just talked to the brand ambassador of McAllen. Go listen to that. See what we talked about in my McAllen. That was fun. You can actually know a little more about a little more. Uh, the Truth is Barrel Proof Podcast is a community podcast. I created this for y'all. Five minute. Where, when, how. Taste it live tell us how it is. I even have, believe it or not, the brand ambassador of Signatory that actually did a review himself. Oh, of, yeah. The, the last episode, <laughs> the last episode, the, the brand ambassador of Signatory, the Scotch brand, he loved the idea so much that he's like, you know what? I'll personally start doing reviews of what I put out there. Hopefully we get sponsors soon. If you're a brand here that want to sponsor us, we, we want you to sponsor the podcast. So at the end of the year, I should be able to send a little something to everybody and say thank you for helping us grow. That's what I want for us. I'm here for all of us. Follow me on YouTube here. Make sure you tube the barrel on. It's the Hood Summer Day everywhere. And if you get excited and want to rock our gear, hoodsum.com, just down the street. Just click on it, buy yourself something, support the cause. I usually, I, I don't even make any money on those things. I just want to see somebody wear HS and just glow <laughs> in it, just flex it and say, hey, do you know Hoods? I'm like, yeah, I know Hoods. And I heard, I heard through the grapevine that if you wear any of my gears and walk into a store, they may open the door to you for allocation. I don't know. A couple people told me they just had to put my hat on. I have, and they I have proof. Store. I have proof. Hold on. I have proof. Okay. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out. Check it out. 
two two Mondays in a row. Two Mondays in a row. I wore your gear, okay? Okay. Uh, last week, I won this awesome Four Roses backpack okay. from wearing your okay. gear. The week before that, I won this awesome Peerless hat from you know wearing what? your gear. I'm telling you. Uh, uh, there is Howie in Kansas City. He's like, hey, every time I wear your hat and I go into a store and I saw our location, it, it, can't, it magically happens. So I don't know. There's something about there's something about <laughs> it kicks to me the curve. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> Total wine and sand. I just said like <laughs> so, but I, I'm just saying, I don't know if it's true, but I heard through the grapevine. So I don't know, but Every one of y'all that is here, that is following us, go like like me, like uh, my page, Hood Somali on Facebook. I, I actually I actually need to get to 10k on Facebook, so our video now can be monetized there too. So we can we I can use any support. Make sure you follow YouTube, IG, Facebook, and the Truth Is Better Proof podcast, and leave us a review. Leave a review on the podcast what you think, and if you want to participate. Listen to one or two episodes and get to us. I'll be more than happy to post it. This is your podcast, not our podcast. It's your podcast to actually have a good time with. Tim is always good. It's always good to come here on Monday. Uh, as as you can see, Tony Tony's back. Tony's back. Tony left us for about a month and a half because he's been working hard. Tony, you're back. For all of you guys that keep coming back every Monday to support us, I, I want to tell you a sincere thank you. It means a lot that you take your Monday night and come hang out with us. Um, if you have any question, my Mondays suck at gmail.com. At gmail.com. My Mondays suck at gmail.com is all you need to do. And you can reach me on every social media, every platform. And if you're a brand that want to be on the show, reach out to us. Unlike some people, we don't charge you $3,000 to be on our show. <laughs> no shade. No game. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here with us. Thank you all so much for always for his uh, loving and supporting us. And we will see you next week. Thank you.